welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, been spending a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, like eight or nine Minecraft days there, looking around. A lot of it trying to figure out what to do with the kitchen. I think I finally got something together here, partly based on suggestions that folks have made white concrete powder. I also thought maybe have a look at clay and polished andesite and even granite uh, as counter materials. And uh, so let's have a look here and let's throw the clay in there. That maybe could work. And of course there's the white concrete powder and there's andesite that could work. Mind you, mind you, they'd all have to be the same. And then, of course, there's the granite. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I'm not really sure about granite being that color. i got to admit, I think the granite is probably... Real granite is probably going to be closer to the andesite color than it is this from a distance almost orange looking stuff so I think the granite is out uh, let's see there was one other I did get one block of the white concrete not powder just white concrete and yeah I'll admit that's plain but sometimes plain is good and simple and easy you know I wonder if the concrete lime, the lime colored concrete comes out quite that plain. That would be cool. You could make a wall of that and use it for a green screen. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Let's get that out of there. Let's get this out of there. And I think I'm going to go with the white concrete powder. And, uh. Folks are just going to have to be careful with uh, splashing water around in the sink. Uh, I'm not quite sure about this. I'm not quite so sure that that needs to be the birch. Because, uh, I don't know. There's an awful lot of birch in the walls already. How would that look? I don't know. Is that uh, reasonable, perhaps? I think maybe. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Item frames. And I'm going to throw up something here. Every kitchen needs a clock. Because you need to have a clock nearby so you can keep track of things that you're putting in to cook and whatnot, and know when to take them out. It's not always just a, uh, actually cooking is very seldom just a simple matter of throwing stuff in there and taking it out when it looks right. Not always. Uh, let's see. Alright, I've got that, and let's get some spruce out here. And oh yeah, there's some spruce stairs and let's see I've got some of the other over here let's see nether stairs nether slabs yeah that'll work all right time to start doing somewhat with the roof and am I gonna need more of that I don't think so okay so Let's see. Let's start with the nether brick and slabs. Now I'm thinking I'm right in line with the chimney here. Okay, so if I put a slab here, and let me get a thing to put it against. Inverted stair. Oh, you're going to be like that. All right. I 
Maybe that one needs to not be inverted. Okay. All right. And a little bit more cobble scaffolding. And here's where we go with the slab. And then up here, the inverted stair. Yeah. And so on here. slab and just alternating the slab and the stairs So on here, I'm going to get some more of this cobble going. It's temporary, just to have something to frame this up and stuff on. Of course, the stairs maybe could be upright too. So, okay. Kind of like that, and I'm, I don't know, anywhere where there's an upside down stair, I could go ahead and put a slab, or, let's see, let's try making these stairs just upright. Uh, well, that throws the whole pattern off. If I'm going to do stairs, I could just go ahead and uh, stair it all the way. No, that makes it too steep. I guess I need to keep up with the inverted ones. Alright, I see what I needed to do. Let me break that and do that. There. That would be better. That's more like what I had in mind. Yeah. Alright, that one was a slab and it needed to stay there. It's the thing about the nether brick. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is which because it's so dark. The idea here is to have the roof come up from out here where there's an overhang up to the chimney. It needs to come up high enough so that there's room for an actual interior and uh, it needs to slope up a little bit more gradually than just using stairs. And ruined my pattern here. Alright. Inversion. Slab. No. Slab there. And then inverted stair here. Yeah. Yeah, like that. And... Alright, let me go ahead and get some daylight. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the spruce instead. And we'll see how that ends up looking. Okay, here we go. This is kind of the thing that I had in mind. I've got slabs and upside down stairs alternating. It makes for a peaked roof, but it's not so sharp a roof 
as it would be if it was just like stairs the whole way. And it meets up there with the chimney. The thing would go around the chimney. Uh, like, well, it had a stair there and have another one here. And then going up, you'd have another slab up there and so on. It would just wrap around. And this would strike me as being a good roof. It's not so sharp as your typical A-frame that just kind of barrels up at a 45 degree angle on each side and so on. It makes the thing seem taller than it really is. I mean, I suppose this does that to a little bit of a degree, but I think the uh, alternating slabs and stairs like that gives it a gentler slope and a decent look. And because the slabs are all bottom slabs and the stairs are stairs, nothing's going to spawn up there. So I, I think that would work. Uh, the only question is, what's better looking, more like roofing material? The, uh, the nether brick or the spruce? I'm certain it's got to come down to one of those two. But I'm personally still kind of torn between them. And no, I can't put one in the back and one and the other on the front. That's, no, that's just not going to work. Uh, I, no. But that's that right there. And that's about where I'm at with it. I don't really want to build too much more on either of them. Because one of them is going to have to be torn down. And I'm not sure which just yet. But there you have it. That's what I've got in mind for the roofing. That's the picture I have in my head of it. And, uh, you know, it would extend out to either side a block past so that there'd be an overhang on the sides, just like there's an overhang there on the front and back. And I would have to do some kind of adapting here for the kitchen area. Its roof would have to be more than it obviously is. Uh, the birch would have to come up even with the ceiling and then, I don't know, maybe I could just stair step, yeah, I could just step the roof down f further. Just extend the back part of the roof out to include the kitchen area. Okay, that'll work. So, that's what I'm thinking about there. And I think that will do very good. And I had another thought here about the fireplace. The fireplace in this thing is the main source of heat for the place. So, doesn't it stand to reason that it would be darker in the floor in there? That uh, it would look, you know, more burned and there'd be a, a lot of soot charcoal look you know it would be darker because there's fire in the fireplace a lot never mind the fact that we have a ladder in there we don't talk about that that's not there that's uh some kind of decoration on the brick and if i wanted to say that i could go ahead and put another one over here so that people would you know so that it would balance out and be even. actually that's a good idea let me see do i have any more ladder of course i have more ladders all right, uh, don't get turned around here. All right, so pop that here, pop another one there. There. Now it looks even and like it's a decoration on the brick. And no, I don't want the ladder to come all the way down to the bottom block. Yeah. I think that'll work. Now, uh, I don't recall if I mentioned anything, but... Uh, this thing being like a hot water heater or something like that. Somebody suggested an idea that would look pretty cool as be to go ahead and put lava in the bottom. Problem is, can't put lava in those things. They will only accept water. Try it sometime. Just uh, don't stand too close to it when you do because the lava will end up being on top of it. It won't go in. 
Uh, so there we go. The next thing up is going to be something resembling furniture. And there's, of course, the dodge where you put down steps to be chairs, or you can put signs on them to make them benches or couches or that kind of thing on the sides, you know. There's that, and there's the old uh, fence post with either pressure plates or carpets, or instead just put inverted pistons and carpets on them and stuff like that to, for tables, and that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I'm still trying to figure out what is going to look even remotely good, because this does not. Of course, by itself, it wouldn't. But i got to figure something out with that. And whether or not there is to be carpeting in here at all, anywhere. I'm personally leaning in favor of it, but I have a strong personal bias. I hate carpet in real life. So, I'm not sure what to do there. <laughs> I do. I, I have a personal bias. I, I cannot stand carpeting. What is it taking so long to sleep for? Good Lord. Oh. I mean, it's never supposed to take that long. Anyway, I think the concrete powder is a winner. And uh, that, that'll work. This gives a decent amount of counter space, at least in comparison to being such a teeny tiny kitchen. But there you go. Uh, in other news, I do have, uh, a thing coming up soon-ish. Uh, at least some of y'all may know that, uh, on my vlog channel, I have a series that I call Journey to the Farlands, in which I am walking to the Farlands in Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, because that's the last version where the Farlands exist. Yes, I know there's mods. No, I'm not going to use them. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and anyway, I have a live stream coming up on the 25th of March in which in that stream, towards the end of it, during the stream I'll be looking for a suitably epic bit of terrain, and then towards the end of the stream I will be doing something I have not done since I left Spawn some 107 episodes ago, 300 and some odd Minecraft days of walking to the Farlands. We'll get to find out how far I've come. That should be cool. In any event, if you have thoughts about furnishings and what makes good furnishing looking things in Minecraft, other than nagging Mojang to actually give us furniture, functional furniture, by the way, in vanilla, that would be really nice. That would be useful. That would open up a whole lot of possibility for filling great big empty spaces like this and I know it's not that big of a space really but when you're trying to figure out what to put in it it's huge this is a football field I guarantee you <laughs> it is in any event I have got to stop derping around here and get this thing out or it's never going to be up anywhere close to in time it's already an hour late Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.